a very pleasant good night my beloved brothers and sisters a very pleasant good night my beloved brothers and sisters in christ and outside the body of christ but once again this is your christian brother eric braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country trinidad and tobago the land of my nativity the land of my boy trinidad and tobago this wonderful island country that is in the blue caribbean sea this video is related to all the psychics and mediums that are out there and the non-psychics and mediums the non-psychics and mediums who are followers and clients and believers in the psychics and mediums who follow them and give them the full support and believe all what they are teaching unto them and believe in, believe all the readings that are given unto them concerning the loved ones and who believe who and who have accept the things that the information that they have passed on to them the current living relatives about that the psychics claim that they have received information about the dead loved ones and they have received that information from the psychic and they and they, and they are be comforted now by because of the information they receive from the the psychics like like taylor henry and um john edwards and many other psychics and physics this video is specially for all the psychics and physics to know to teach you all that when someone die they do not pass on to know on the other side that is a concept that we have that when someone die they say they pass on the other side they go on to some spirit world no my brothers and sisters you all are teaching the wrong doctrine the wrong philosophy the wrong ideas when according to the scriptures when someone die they go to the grave the grave simply mean a hole in the earth so they so they are in the still the physical world because when you put a person in a coffin and bury them nine feet there's in the earth in the grave and the grave is called our home like in the book of job job said that when man die he go to his sweet long home before into the grave and wait for a resurrection and throughout the psalms throughout the bible it tell us that when someone die they go to the grave they bury them or even self they burn them because if you burn someone you haven't buried them but the point is the person is dead the ashes is we in the spirit world no the ashes of that dead corpse is still in the physical world so when people die they is in the physical world because we are not spirit beings right right i will teach on that brother although i already have videos on that but right now i'm dealing that when someone die they is in the grave whether they bury them or burn them they is in the physical world and they doesn't pass on to no spirit world on the other side that's a lie and that's a deception so all other physics famous physics and non-famous physics in america and all over the world who teach that all the clients and the people who come to you all for assistance concerning the loved ones to know whether the loved ones are happy on the other side in heaven or whether they are tormented in a tormented place in hell fiery place in hell you all are not receiving no information from no dead one because the dead doesn't know nothing the dead doesn't know nothing when someone died they lose consciousness and they are in the grave waiting for a resurrection or if they burn them they st they're still waiting for a resurrection in the future so then people will say how am i teaching that the bible teach that how but those who believe in the psychics and physical say well how how do i how come that could be true because when we go to the psychic they are claiming they are receiving for me information from our dead ones dead relative and they are giving out true information concerning the dead one our our um our um relatives and they could not know that except that true information concerning our loved ones who die was revealed to them and you all believe that these men are gifted men of god and they are doing that by god 
So then how do they get the information? Brothers and sisters, do they really contact in the dead? Do the dead in a, is in a spirit form now in an invisible world, speaking to the psychic invisible, passing on information to the living, current living, flesh and blood relative on the earth to comfort them whether they're in heaven, in a place of bless, or whether they're in hell, in a tormented place? The answer is no. So how are they receiving that information? It is so simple, my dear friends. The dead doesn't know nothing. I know dead one cannot come in your dream and talk to you. All those dead people who die and they say the they, 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 dead relatives are coming and speaking to them in the dream, that's the fallen angels who are impersonating to be dead people. Fooling these people speaking to them in the dream. Making, making them believe that they, my dead grandmother or mother or father a brother or sister was came and speak to me last night in the dream, not knowing it was a fallen angel who impersonated his brother or sister who have died. Or even a, a dead a living person who is alive, they could impersonate you too and appear in a dream. So you think your dream my brother and last night. No, that's a fallen angel who impersonating your dead relative or your living relative giving you information. They have that ability, they are called familiar spirits. Well, these, these fallen angels are working through the psychics, whether these psychics know it or not, and working through them as a medium, that's why they are called mediums, they are channeled, and they are, these f fallen angels know the history of, of people who, who have lived and who have died. So they are just passing on the information to the psychic, to the current living relatives. As simple as that, as that is, as simple as that is a deception, brothers and sisters. And that information is not coming from God because God is against all that. So what I'm simply saying, brothers and sisters, since you all have that information now, you all are not to go to no psychic and no physic for them to comfort you all concerning all the dead relatives. When a person dies, that person is in the hands of God, hands of the Creator God. And since God is a fair judge and he judge righteously, and he will deal with each person, whether the wicked or the righteous person, equally and squarely and fairly, then we no need to worry. Because having that knowledge that God will judge us righteous, um, fairly and squarely, and he will not take advantage of us, whether we, whether we, be, whether we die wick, a wicked person or a good person, he will judge us fairly, right? And knowing that, then that alone will comfort you having that knowledge about God, that he will judge us righteously and he will take care of us. Whether we die a righteous person or an evil person, we are in the hands of God and he will deal with us squarely and fairly, righteously in a just manner. After all, it is he that make us God. And we are in, and even self, when people die, they are still in the hands of God because he's the only one to rhetoric you and judge you. The angels can rhetoric you. When people die, they are not in the hands of none of the angels that God created. They are in his hands. Ah, I want you all to know that, brothers and sisters. So having that knowledge that God will comfort us, having that knowledge now, consider our dead ones, so we don't have to worry about them because God will deal with them fairly. And having that knowledge, that alone would comfort us, brothers and sisters. So we don't need to go to, we have to, we no need to go to no physic and no psychic for them to tell us about the state of our dead relatives or for their dead relatives who have died, for them to comfort us. No, that is a deception. That is a lie, brothers and sisters. We don't have to go to none of them. We go to our Creator God. Because he's, He will resurrect the dead. And all dead people who die is in His hands. Because He's the Creator. And every human being that comes in this world, He created them. And when someone, everybody, any person die, whether good or evil, they is in the hands of God still. Yes, and he's a fair judge, and he will judge us righteously and fairly, both good and both evil. And having that alone, that knowledge, that alone will comfort us. Right, so we don't have to pay our money and go to none of these psychics and physic, whether it be John Edwards or um, Taylor Henry or any other, any other these psychics. We don't have to go to none of them. Because in fact, they are not helping you all. They are only fooling you all. 
And why is it fooling you all? They are collecting the Benjamin, the money. They are getting rich and famous. Because you all are putting money in the pocket at the same time. And you all think they are comforting you all about all the dead ones. They are not comfort comforting you all concerning none of all the dead ones. They are only fooling you all in the process. But you all are blind to the reality that the tr concerning the true state that the dead is in, you all believe like they, you all believe what they are telling you all that it's, that the dead is alive in a spirit form in the spirit world and they are contacting all the dead relatives who are alive in the spirit world and passing all information to you all which is a total lie when someone died they have the loose consciousness and they are in the grave still in the physical world not in no spirit world as no spirit being they are in the physical world in the grave in an unconscious state waiting for a resurrection when God will judge or resurrect the dead and judge them righteously, squarely and fairly because he's the righteous judge and his judgment is righteously. And that alone will be able to comfort us to know that the state, the dead, is in the hands of God. And since God is a fair and loving and merciful God, he will deal with each human being in a righteous, in a fair and in a good and a proper and decent and noble manner, holy and righteous manner. And having that wisdom and that knowledge alone, that will be able to comfort us. Because we know that he will redirect the dead and judge us righteously. So brothers and sisters out there, no need, do not go to the physical and psychics again. No, 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 that God, having that knowledge now, that will comfort you and rest assured that God will deal with each of us fairly in the resurrection and in the judgment. Yes, my dear friends. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video. See you all in the next video soon. Shalom, peace. I hope that you all pay very attention to what I say. And if you all do not understand what I say, study this video about 20 times till you all fully comprehend what I say. And read all your Bible from Genesis to Revelation. And you all will see that the dead doesn't know anything. Brothers and sisters, till the resurrection. My dear friend, when God will resurrect the dead and give them back their consciousness. But right now, when someone died, they doesn't know nothing. They're still in the physical world, brothers and sisters, in the grave. Or even self they burn the persons, they're still in the physical world, unconscious, waiting for a resurrection. And not in no spirit world, conscious. And they are not no spirit being conscious in a, physic, in a spirit world where they could contact people. No, that's a lie, brothers and sisters. Man is flesh and blood. Man is not no spirit being. I want you all to know that, brothers and sisters. So shalom peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.